Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we'll take a look at the roadmap to learn React.js in 2022. Alright, and this roadmap is only for beginners who want to learn React.js from the scratch. Okay, and this React.js roadmap is my opinion guys. There may be other React developers, they have their own point of view. But as per my experience on React.js, I am going to guide you how you can learn as a beginner react.js from the scratch in the year 2022 all right great so before diving into the roadmap to learn react.js let's first understand what is react.js well react is basically a open source javascript library that we can use to build user interfaces and react is created and maintained by facebook and react is basically you know component based library so that we can reuse the components okay and react is basically very popular nowadays and most of the front-end developers uses react.js to develop the single page applications all right so this is quick overview of react.js now let's go ahead and let's see step by step how you can learn react.js as a beginner well in order to learn the react.js you have some prerequisites so look at here you need to you know familiar with html css and javascript before learning react.js okay so make sure that you know the basics of html css and javascript okay just basics you can take a look into like html basics such as uh, html elements form table div list elements and their attributes and in case of css basics like styling the html elements css selectors and box model and in case of javascript basics like you can learn javascript variables conditional statements loops data types dom manipulation event triggering okay and arrow functions so just take a look into the basics of these html css and javascript before learning react.js well once you familiar with html css and javascript then you can go ahead and learn react basics well you can begin with creating the react application using create react app cli tool well create a react app cli tool is basically a official supported way to create a single page react application and this provides a modern build setup with no configuration okay great in order to create the react application you have you can use create react app cli tool once you create the react application using create react app cli tool then you can understand how control flows of the react application it means you can understand the project structure folder structure and flow of the react application okay as a beginner you should familiar with react application folder structure and how the react app runs in the browser and also understand what is virtual dom and how dom is manipulated in the react application well once you understand how the control flows of the react application and the folder structure and all those stuff then you can go ahead and learn react component types well mainly there are two types of react components functional and class components and functional component is also called stateless component and class component is also called state component okay once you are familiar with react components then you can go ahead and learn jsx well jsx is basically extension to javascript language syntax okay and basically jsx allows us to write html code in the react okay this is awesome right basically jsx is the javascript syntax extension and it allows us to write html code in the react all right basically jsx makes easier to write and add html elements in the react all right once you know how to use jsx in react then you can go ahead and learn props well props stands for properties okay and we can use props to pass a data from one component to another component and by learning props you must be familiar with you know how to pass props from parent component to child component okay just try to understand what is props and how we can use props to pass data from parent component to child component 
Well, once you understand the props, then go ahead and learn states in a React. Well, state is basically an inbuilt object in the React components. And whenever you create a class component in React, you can use state inbuilt object to store, read and update the values in the state object. Okay. And you can use state in only React class component. And in order to use state in a functional component, you can use use state hook. Okay, great. So once you know how to use state in a class component and how to use use state in a functional component, then you can go ahead and learn how to you know handle functions in React. Well, as a beginner, it's very important to know how to create a functions in React, how to call the functions in React, right? So go ahead and learn all those stuff in the React. Well, once you understand how to create and call functions in the React, then you can go ahead and learn JSX events. JSX events such as on click, on change. Okay, so these are very important JSX events. So you can go ahead and learn them. Well, once you understand like how to use a JSX events, then you can go ahead and learn conditional rendering. Well, conditional rendering allows us to render a JSX conditionally, just like we use EPL statement in JavaScript, right? And by learning conditional rendering, we should be able to, you know, display UI conditionally. And we can also understand how to use, you know, the ternary operator in a React JSX. All right, just understand how we can display the portion of the page by using EPL statement. All right, next, we should learn component lifecycle method so this is a very important guys just try to understand the common react lifecycle method such as render method component did mount component did update component will unamount okay so these are the few commonly used react lifecycle methods and set state basically is a method which we can use to set a value to the state object so whenever we want to modify state object in the class component then we can go ahead and use set state method well next learn how to build a forms in the react application so just go ahead and learn how to create the forms in the react application how to submit the forms in the react application and how to handle form elements like on change on submit and also learn how to populate the data in the form for editing the information so go ahead and learn you know about forms in a react all right so these are the few react basics you need to first learn step by step and then you can go ahead and learn some of the advanced topics you can learn the advanced topics like debugging and logging well debugging and logging is very important as a react developer you should know how to debug the react application and how to log the statements in the react application well there is there is a one browser extension that is a react dev tools extension that you can use to monitor react state and components within the browser window itself okay so go ahead and use react dev tools extension in a browser to just debug the react application in a browser window itself next you need to learn how to make ajax call or a rest api call in the react application well there is a one browser built-in api that is fetch api so just go ahead and use javascript built-in fetch api to make a http get and post request in the react application okay so as a react developer it's very important to learn how to make ajax call or a rest api call uh, you know to get the data and to you know populate the data in the react application so in this way you will learn how to consume the rest apis in the react application and how to populate the rest api response data on the react components well next you should learn how to store a data in a browser local storage well basically this local storage allows you to store data locally within the browser storage itself okay so by knowing this feature you will be able to understand like how to store a data locally in the browser itself and how to read the data from the local browser's storage itself okay you no need to you know make a remote call and store the data on the database if you have a requirement to store the data in a browser's 
storage itself then you can go ahead and use local storage javascript object to store the data and to read the data from the local storage just try to understand how you can you know store the data locally in a browser's storage next you need to learn how to handle errors in the react application consider the scenario like whenever you make a rest api call in a react application and if rest api you know gives some unexpected result then you need to handle that error or unexpected behavior in the react application okay just try to understand like how to use a catch block to handle the errors in the react application well these are the advanced topics as a react beginner you can take a look into it next react hooks well react hooks are very very important guys okay as a react beginner or a developer you have to understand the commonly used react hooks for instance look at here use state hook use effect hook use context use ref use reducer use callback use memo and you can create your own custom hook okay just note it down these commonly use react hooks as a react developer you should understand these react hooks and how to use these hooks in a react application okay just go ahead and learn all these commonly used react hooks and try to understand like how you can use these hooks in a react application all right great well in a real time react application development we use the react libraries so as a react beginner you you need to also understand the commonly used react libraries in the react applications so i have mentioned over here few of the commonly used react libraries so you can go ahead and check out these libraries for instance axios libraries so react is not concerned with http we have to use uh, you know third party http library to make the rest api call in the react application so axios is one of the popular http library that we can use in a react application to make http calls okay so just go ahead and learn how to use axios library in a react application to make a rest api call or a ajax call and next learn the redux library well redux library is very important to manage the states in the react application so if you want to manage the application state in a central place then you can go ahead and use a redux library in the react application next you can go ahead and use react router for routing in the react application and for styling the react application you can use these ui libraries for example bootstrap css tile wind css chakra ui material ui ant design so these are the popular you know ui libraries that are available uh, in a react so you can go ahead and check out these ui libraries to style your react application and if you want to play with the forms then you can go ahead and use formic react hook form so these are the popular libraries uh, that you can use to play with the forms in a react okay so these are the few commonly used react libraries i have mentioned over here but there are a lot of react libraries out there that we can use as per our requirement okay i have just mentioned here the popular and commonly used react libraries all right great so these are the few you know react basics and advanced topics and react libraries as a beginner you have to know now let me suggest you a few of the resources that you can go ahead and check out to learn react js from the scratch so just go ahead and type react tutorial for beginners in the youtube search engine you can able to see react js tutorial for beginners uh, playlist so just remember the channel name code evolution okay so this channel is very popular especially for you know react js you can you can check out everything about react js on this youtube channel and i'm highly you know uh, suggest you to use this react js tutorial for beginners playlist to learn react js from the scratch okay you can see this playlist contains around you know 50 60 plus videos that you can go ahead and learn everything about react js you can also learn react hooks okay you can also learn react rendering framework you can also learn react typescript okay you learn a lot of stuff about a react ecosystem uh, in this youtube channel so just remember code evolution is the youtube channel apart from that you can go ahead and check out react js tutorials in hindi if you want to learn react 
uh, in Hindi, then you can go ahead and check out this code with Harry YouTube channel. All right. So I personally gone through these two YouTube channels, and I found that React JS contents are, you know, uh, published in detail. So you can go ahead and check out these two YouTube channels. Apart from that, you can see programming with Mosh and others also. You know, other YouTube channels also has a good content. But I personally gone through these two YouTube channels, and I found the contents very useful. So you can go ahead and check out Code Evolution YouTube channel. Uh, it has a React JS tutorial for beginners playlist. So go ahead and check out this playlist to learn everything about React JS. Okay, great. All right. I hope you found this React JS roadmap for beginners useful. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in a comment section below. And yeah, that is pretty much I want to cover in this video. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.